so if anyone asks me that uh, what exactly is fit means i just tell them that anything related to healthy eating we can help you out yeah so if someone wants to lose weight if someone wants to gain weight i mean gain muscle if again if someone wants to ha- have 3000 calories if someone wants to have 1500 calories which i usually don't recommend hmm. but we can help you uh 70% again depends upon what you eat so we can take care of that 70% and then you only have to take care of your rest hmm, mental hmm. and physical rest and uh, work out that's it yeah. hey everyone this is shruti welcome to my podcast i'm just curious where i talk of all things i'm curious about with the people i'm curious about and how they turn their passion into their profession in today's episode i'm going to be talking to someone who turned his passion for fitness into his profession he is not only into fitness he's done movies he's a model he's an actor and he's also a content creator uh, and i'm very happy to have uh, shivam shah with me on the podcast today hi shivam how are you thank you for the introduction <laughs> never heard i mean so many things so, about so you many things about me. <laughs> so many good things about me yeah 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 no but you thank are you. doing so much glad, like you know glad to be here glad to be yeah, here thank you thank you welcome and thank you for thank taking you. the time and coming on the podcast pleasure my pleasure really great. happy to be great, here great great so how have you been today all good absolutely great uh i guess waiting for the podcast to go to uh, get over and then i'll go ahead to the gym and work out start working out again lovely lovely uh so let's start from the beginning okay you went to like you know went to us to study okay. and uh, talk to me about that like how was that experience uh so i did my uh, engineering of uh, in di- i mean diploma in engineering and degree from here hmm. uh but i so you want to know the fitness journey right so that starts when i was 6 my father just uh, uh, told me that you are start, uh, going to start uh, working out or do something because i as a kid i was not good at eating okay so he was like that he'll eat something at least now if he yeah. works out or plays something so he took me to this cl- tennis class uh, again i if you heard about it that time used to be really good uh within 2 years i was uh, the number one student in the academy i got the under 8 title and then my coach was like okay we can take this seriously and he's really good at it so you should i mean take this as a profession now hmm. and in tennis by i mean usually uh, only roger federer is a really i mean a great guy that he still plays at 39 40 but usually you retire at 30 32 so like from 15 to 20 that is the peak age uh, of progressing in tennis So till 16 17 I used to play I mean I played for India I played for Gujarat as well Right So my fitness journey actually started from there Okay So talk to me about like not just your fitness journey like but your your whole journey like which led you to fitness okay. and like as you started like you know you were a child and then you uh, you did not used to eat or something you said Uh yes so that I So why was, was really, that I was really really thin uh, I still remember I was really fit but Okay I I didn't I mean look that great <laughs> but yes I was really fit I used to weigh 40 41 kgs when I passed my 12th standard right or 11th standard 11th or 12th standard right uh, but I was really fit at that time used to play for 8 8 7 8 hours daily uh, uh, I mean tennis obviously uh, I've played with Sanya Mirza I've played with Nadal I've played with Lend I mean I've been a ball boy when Lender Pace my Rupati were playing at uh, in Ahmedabad oh so that was really great then uh, when i turned 21 22 obviously life gets real that time yeah uh, i completed my graduation and then my dad was like uh, okay you have to do something yeah uh, either join the family business or go out do something yeah and then so you I that's was, when you decided to go to the us right uh, no no so i i started working uh, over here if you know danji dumps the yeah. chain So I started working over there. I was a floor cleaner. I was I, I washed dishes over there. I was a manager as well. Then I I ended up uh, leaving Danjinoms because the footfall footfall of the customers was not that great. Uh, but then I started working at Buttercup, uh, that is a cupcake shop in Ahmedabad, really famous. I mean, obviously. Yeah. So I worked there for like two years. After that, I went to US. Worked there again as a floor cleaner. I I still remember I've vacuumed the floors. I've cleaned dishes and stuff like that. So I've been into. Uh, I mean I've I know in and out of the restaurant business. Uh, so again I came back. My dad was like, okay, start your own business, do something. 
again and I was like okay and you were studying what there in the US you went to so study I, right uh, yes I went to study I went for my green card as well so I got this degree from American Council on Exercise hmm. which is the world's best fitness uh, consultancy or fitness trainer course hmm. uh, really really practical and analytical as well uh, really really good theory subjects so I did that uh, again I worked as a a waiter I, I told you right so then I came back I thought if I want to start something into fitness that is for sure hmm. gym according to me was huge investment and very slow return hmm. really risky business uh, because we have a lot of clubs over here in Ahmedabad where usually like really people from really good families and who are like well to do they usually prefer going to clubs rather than the commercial gyms Even and I why, but why is that like is I that guess the culture has been such because I still remember like six since, since I was six seven my dad used to take me to Rajput clubs. club and turn out I mean the clubs hmm. I mean people over here might think clubs I mean not the oh, no. <laughs> dance clubs or something like that but this is like a sports nobody club. is going to think yeah. Ahmedabad people are going to <laughs> yeah. dance clubs <laughs> yeah so uh, uh, sort of a social sports yeah. club so I actually uh, I, uh, uh, grew up in these clubs yeah yeah. So I used to play, again I was into tennis but then again I, because of one sport you usually excel at other sports as well. Mm -hmm. So I was really good at running, I was really good at cricket, uh, volleyball also I've represented Gujarat a couple of times. So this sports culture it runs in the family, my sister also has represented Gujarat uh, a couple okay. of times. So, what does she my, play? Uh, volleyball. Volleyball, She okay. represented Gujarat two times in That's school. amazing. Uh, my dad still plays at a st state level so he is in the top 5 veteran players in Gujarat. Oh, okay. So that is how the sports culture comes to the family. Then I thought okay, uh, let me figure it out. There was this uh, fit fuel chain in a US when I was working over there. Uh, really expensive but so this so is never, when your, you came back and your dad was like yeah, you know start yeah. doing something and you were yeah. like I want to do something in fitness but you were not ready to open a exactly. gym or yes, something yes, yes. so you started looking for other uh, true true opportunities so, uh, the other option uh, i mean uh, other than gym the other option was uh, opening a sports cafe but again sports cafe they run on liquor obviously which is a dry state so the major sale of any sports cafe it comes from alcohol only really yeah but so, why is it called sports then <laughs> I mean, people go over there for three, to four watch hours sports. to watch sports oh, and then no, they... Not to play. Uh, no, no, not to yeah, play. I thought while playing, why are Sports cafes, can... where the screenings and everything My of, bad, my yeah. bad. <laughs> so that uh, was again out of, I mean, uh, yeah. not a really good option. Then I was just talking to a friend and uh, uh, in fitness, uh, I, which I actually realized, this, uh, the, this thing I realized when I started learning and studying about fitness so in fitness 30 percent depends upon your workout and rest and 70 and in some cases 80 percent depends upon what you eat so i thought that okay we have two gyms in every street of ahmedabad hmm. like close to four five hundred gyms we might be having in ahmedabad right oh, okay that's a so, huge I mean, small small and big gym, yeah. gyms and the sports uh, arenas and everything together but then if we, if we don't have somewhere, some place where people can go and eat really nice, hmm. healthy food and people over here what they think is okay, yaar, main ghar pe khata hu, I eat healthy food. So that is hygienic. Hmm. Healthy has a really different Nutritional meaning. value. Yeah, so different hmm. meaning for different people. So for me healthy is high carbs, high protein, comparatively low fat. For you healthy might be low fat, low carb. High, high protein as well. You might be, might be. I'm just, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah, giving you an example. So I thought, okay, let's give it a shot. So then, what we did was we I hired a kitchen, uh, and I we started uh, giving food to people uh, like bodybuilders, fitness models, athletes, actors, because their bodies they know what to do with their bodies and their bodies respond really nicely to food hmm, hmm, and so because they are burning 
because they are no, because utilizing they, that energy no so of that. number one they are really disciplined about their workout right hmm. so if i want to figure out that okay if my food actually works or not yeah. so i would prefer giving it to some fitness model or some bodybuilder rather than some random guy because he might not be that serious and i won't actually know if my food is working or not i okay okay so i mean for an example if i give it to my uh, let's say brother who is not that uh, crazy about fitness and if i give my food to him and if i eat my food but i would eat it really really in a disciplined yes. manner Got and it. he won't follow the diet properly so i won't know in really quick time that my food understood, works or understood understood yeah to un- to understand if the business model will work exactly. or not yes, you had yes, to yes. yeah yeah so for 5 6 months uh, it was a so- sort of a trial and error method uh, non veg veg vegan uh, paleo keto we've done everything so we got really good reviews uh, a few of uh, i mean a few of the clients got really good results as well then uh, those 6 months uh, what i did was i researched that okay for an example 100 grams of cooked chicken has these amount of calories or macros or whatever it is and 100 grams of normal chicken has or 100 grams of paneer so the the complete nutritional values uh, we so actually so you figured studied, out yeah, yeah. every little yeah. you know if the cooked yeah. food has what nutritional yeah. value and cooked food has what nutritional value yes. that's yes. that's really good so whatever we used to give in a in a dish uh, we were 90 95% accurate and we used to tell people that okay right now if i'm giving you this dish you are having this amount of carbs this amount of protein and this amount of fat hmm. so people act- actually know again a lot of i i mean obviously uh, amdavad gujarat and indian culture of fitness is going really forward but still people what they think is if i just start eating at home uh, if i eat paneer if i uh, have protein shakes i'll start i mean I, i'll start getting fit i'll start looking so really it's not like that it is not like that because see for an example because i am that person who thinks that no no so for an example that, I, i'll give you an example that the day i start eating tofu every day i'll i'll be fit <laughs> uh, in a way it is true but then uh, uh, beyond that fitness is a huge field yeah so for an example if i want to go at, uh, let's say 10 kilometers and if my body has 8 kilometers of uh, fuel fuel even if i eat th- that fuel is very healthy hmm, hmm. It, i won't go through like i won't achieve my fitness goals so for an example if your body needs let's say example 2000 calories per day hmm, and hmm, if you hmm. are taking 2400 calories and healthy calories healthy food explain like f- healthy calories what food has healthy calories uh depends uh complex carbs indian food is mainly about ha, in, in indian food yeah, what indian is like indian food is a lot about sabzi rotis which is a lot of complex carbs which is good uh, again depends so if if i am an athlete and if i'm burning 2500 3000 calories in a day yeah it's fine i'll need more carbs and more complex carbs as well yeah but so people then, who are burning it it's good yeah if you are a model and if you are burning only let's say 1800 calories and then if you have those complex carbs today or tomorrow you are supposed to, you you are bound to gain weight right yeah so for an example if i i told you right if you need 2000 calories and if you are taking healthy to 2400 calories then you you are not going to experience fat loss or any weight loss at all hmm hmm <coughs> so the first thing i would like uh, to tell everyone is before going to a gym you have to be very clear about what your goal is hmm. uh, so i want to look really nice i want to have those rithik type chiseled body or i want to be Healthy. actually fit like virat kohli and it is fine if i lose a lot of muscle but i just want to look thin and lean uh, if i want to look like a bodybuilder so i mean if you are going in for the looks if you are going in for fitness if you are going in for some sports agility training or something like that so you have to get your goal very clear okay that is for somebody who is say an athlete or a bodybuilder or like what what about a normal person like a normal person like me like you know like okay so then i'll ask you as a trainer i'll ask you that uh, what is your goal but then looking like looking like sushmita sen or looking like someone or if you want to do something so i'll i'll tell you as a fitness trainer that uh, okay what is your goal how i mean if you want to look like someone it is just getting very thin as a model if it is actually sports and agility 
or if you want to gain muscle i mean what exactly but your goal okay, is okay then there i will ask then i will tell you hmm. see like a normal person a hmm. layman does not know that's why they're yeah. going to someone to find yeah. out like yeah. so when i or say like a normal person like me who doesn't know like why i need to gain muscle or why i need to drink eat protein hmm. protein shakes hmm. then i am going to them and asking them like according to you hmm. what's good for me like this is my schedule this is my routine like yeah but the trainer will ask you that what your goal is so like if you want to lose fat oh in the the exactly workout yes. workout yes, part anyone subconsciously or consciously anyone who goes to a gym 99.9% of the time in, in fact i mean uh, i according to my experience 100% of the times they have some picture in mind like when i started working out i had rithik roshan in mind i had uh, spider man in mind i had so, someone in mind right uh if my if someone is a cricketer then their goal i mean if he is into sports then his uh, goal would be to be fit like virat kohli or cristiano ronaldo yeah so say so, some yeah say yeah. somebody is like you know like a normal person like you know and they just want to be healthy hmm. they hmm. they don't know like they don't hmm. want to look like someone they don't want to you know have a bodybuilding kind of a body yeah. but they just yeah. want ki they should be healthy Yeah, so for you know, so for that person, I would meat. what I would suggest is a major source of your food should be protein. Okay. Uh, then uh, if you divide your plate into like three parts, one part should be protein, one part should be fibrous carbs, which is fibers, I mean veggies and yeah. stuff like that, and the other part can be carbs. But again, even for that person, he has to absolutely know that uh, my maintenance is this. this these many calories so for an example if i eat 2000 calories every day neither i'll gain weight neither i'll lose weight or neither i'll not at least i'll not gain fat hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, but then if he thinks that okay i'll eat healthy but then if he keeps on eating and hmm. then if he goes on having calories does not burn that yeah so 3500 calories makes 1 pound of fat okay or 1 pound of muscles depending upon how you work out or how you eat so those 3500 calories once they get accumulated in his body it will convert into 1 gram i mean 1 uh, 1 gram 1 uh, pound oh, of fat. his body weight either in fat or either in muscle okay and so, is that a good thing or like having muscle is not a good thing or like having again depends if if i am into tennis if i am into any okay. sport which okay. has a lot of body movements leg movements so if you for those people good uh, no for for those people having being muscular like a fitness model is not okay Okay. Because if you see our cricketers or Roger Federer is like he he has a superhuman body, hmm. but then he doesn't have abs or something like this. Yeah, right? yeah. He's but fit. But yes, so a really good combination is Tiger Shroff. He is really fit and he has a really good body, but he has been doing that since a lot of years. So to achieve that, at he least, has both. Yeah, he has hmm, both. Hmm, hmm. Absolutely, he has both. So that to achieve that flexibility and muscularity. i according to me it at least takes 10 12 15 years not because your body takes 10 12 15 years but bodybuilding again i read this uh, book of arnold hmm he says that bodybuilding according to him was trial and error yeah arnold so, schwarzenegger yes exactly yeah. so after 6 to 8 years of bodybuilding he then started knowing that okay what exactly is good for his body and what exactly works for his body something might be good for I mean, let's say uh, I I'll tell you to eat a protein salads every day, but then if you have a digestion problem, that won't be good for you. Hmm. So something might be good in general, but yeah. maybe not good for your body. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's so. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes. That's what we talked about. Like in the, the in season one, we did this episode uh, with one of my friends. She also said the same thing that okay. nowadays people are going on these diets. That oh, this because this person is doing this diet and this fitness exactly. trainer is saying I should do it, but. True. not to everybody it will suit like how it suited exactly. to one person it's Because like every like, dna every body is different different yeah and uh, trust me so uh, i mean we are talking about pharmacy so i i i have protein shakes i have a lot of other supplements as well but i read this research before a year and a half hmm. obviously or in uh, i mean within this year and a half no, nothing might have changed, changed. yeah but uh, they said that a us fda has actual proof of only uh, calcium hmm. working uh, for 
पीपल आई मीन इफ यू हैव कैल्शियम टैबलेट्स दैट विल बी या कैल्शियम सप्लीमेंट्स वर्किंग फॉर पीपल एंड फॉलिक एसिड सप्लीमेंट्स वर्किंग फॉर प्रेग्नेंट वुमेन ओनली दीस टू सप्लीमेंट्स हैव एक्चुअल प्रूफ दैट आउट ऑफ अ थाउजेंड बॉडीज 900 bodies were showing really good results after taking them hmm hmm other okay. whatever you are seeing the multivitamins the protein shakes uh, uh, there is not enough proof right now even if science is so advanced we don't have enough proof that they actually work but, but still yeah. it is like a multi billion dollar industry it right it is now. and i am from pharma and I, and exactly. and uh, I have been like you know trying to understand it yeah. and the supplement side of it yeah. I'm very interested yeah. and very curious about yeah. that because uh, yeah for my own health also I research about these things and uh, see honestly like I know that it's a billion dollar industry and everything yes. and uh, yeah. me being a pharmacist like my brother always pushed me that go you know like do something in that field it's so much like you know you can su- be succeed a uh, lot bigger and everything and I was like see I understand these things how they work and it's not True. like a one fit formula exactly yes 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 so it's like you are like after a certain point you are like fooling people and you know like exactly i know yes. that and yes, yes. Uh, and about the supplements that you said like you know with calcium and everything we did even talk about that that calcium works in com- like this friend of mine only told me that calcium works best in combination with magnesium and True. that's yes. why that's how it gets absorbed in the body like without th- and also okay. like there's an interconnection with calcium and vitamin d many yes, yes and yes, then vitamin d and vitamin b12 and so th- th- these True. basically these three four um, True. you know uh, supplements and everything yes, like uh, yes, vitamins yes, yes. are very highly interconnected yes and, and if you have this cycle imbalance like even if say you have vitamin b12 less everything is going to be up and down in your body true, true. everything yes so we had a uh, n- not a very lengthy but we had a uh, short book on nutrition as well hmm. uh, during this fitness uh, consultancy or fitness trainer course so it, it clearly said that uh, many people ignore the importance of micros micro i mean macros is protein fat carbs micros is multivitamins i mean other different types of vitamins yeah. and calcium and stuff like that uh, so minerals and vitamins so for absorption of the macros micros are very very essential yeah so as important as the i mean macros are yeah. micros are actually that important yeah. but here pe- people over here they just think that okay if i'll have uh, chicken if i have paneer if i'll have protein shakes i i'm having a lot of proteins i'm yeah, eating yeah, healthy yeah, yeah. but then they won't have vegetables and fruits which obviously give you a lot of multivitamins and uh, minerals as well yes so that is i mean it obviously i can go on and on and on talk to me about uh, as you said now you know you been through the whole journey you went to the us you did the fitness course you start came here researched you know about everything and got mm-hmm. into so much detail and depth True. about nutrition fitness yes. and everything yes. Uh, how did finally fit meals come about like how did yes. you mix the two yes and so, explain to anybody who is watching this what is fit meals what does fit meals do and all of that yes so if anyone asks me that uh, what exactly is fit meals i just tell them that anything related to healthy eating we can help you out yeah so if someone wants to lose weight if someone wants to gain weight i mean gain muscle if again if someone wants to have 3000 calories if someone wants to have 1500 calories which i usually don't recommend hmm. but we can help you uh, 70% again depends upon what you eat so we can take care of that 70% and then you only have to take care of your rest hmm. mental hmm. and physical rest and uh, workout that's it yeah. uh, so again so uh, anything related to healthy eating we used to do that uh, i told you that 6 months was trial and error finally fit me came into existence we the trademark and logos and everything took like 6 months uh, so it came into existence the first day i still remember that i personally went to all the clients for the deliveries to just have a really good feedback uh, so these are like basically you started fit means like if anybody has a specified goal anything okay. if even if you just want to eat healthy that's it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah so then the the first day we had 6 or 7 deliveries and within 3 or 4 maybe more maybe 4 and 4 and a half months i don't exactly remember but maybe 3 to 4 months and we reached 300 300 deliveries per day easily hmm, hmm. and again a lot of so if 
if you can just see on social media we, we, with proof with uh, testimonials we had a lot of people who had really good results uh, almost all men client they had really really good results but a, a few females i mean who were going through uh, post pregnancy st uh, stress and because they didn't they usually don't get enough sleep and enough rest okay. yeah so due to that only like maybe a few ladies who didn't get really good results or not, were not happy with where they were going with fit news hmm. or else i can probably say that 99% of the clients usually they get re they got really really good results yeah then uh, uh, via so we, i've never done any marketing activity for fit meals uh, i we uh, were into newspapers and stuff like that uh, i mean through interviews not hmm. any paid, paid promotions hmm. uh, but every ev almost every month once fit news was mentioned into some or the other newspaper or the magazine because people started uh, exactly you know, exactly because it was i mean the first of its kind yeah. no one ever did anything related to healthy eating in gujarat at least i i, I know that much yeah. before that yes people were supplying tiffins but but again that was hygienic not healthy hmm. that, that was not actually according to what this was not this was basically yeah. what was your body needs yes is absolutely yeah. every yeah. meal was customized hmm. your meal would be different someone else's meal would be different yeah. so every meal which goes out from fitness is always customized right uh only only if i mean two people have similar, have similar yeah, needs yeah, I, i would yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. That, that is it yeah. so then uh, i i won't name any cricketers over here because i mean i don't want to name names no no please go ahead <laughs> why no, not yeah, name so names I, name I, names <laughs> luckily i got a contract with gca which is a gujarat cricket association and uh, someone from my gym who is again a really good uh, uh, cricket player a legend of gujarat cricket he helped me uh, get he get this contract parthiv patel i mean obviously yeah, any, yeah. everyone knows okay okay so uh, then again uh, i used to give only th i mean 150 200 uh, breakfast boxes which were again customized and those went to actual cricketers and i was really proud of that because my goal was to help people so yeah. as i told you when i was 6 i started this journey hmm. but i have absolutely no clue neither did my parents have cl any clue because science was not this advanced yeah. before 20 That years right how will we do it actually exactly hmm. so I, i'll give you a very good example so once i went to play uh, a tournament uh i i was ranked as gujarat number one player and i went to play this tournament against uh, someone who was from us or uk and uh, i could clearly see that i am more talented on court than him hmm or maybe uh, 20% more more talented than him but i could figure it out that yeah, my game yeah. yes you had more skills yes yeah. skillful uh, more skillful definitely but then i used to weigh 40 kg as i told you and i was 5 5 56 in height and that guy was 62 and he used to weigh good 70 60 kgs and he was like properly ripped and muscular mm -hmm. and i mean a perfect body for tennis so he he over completely like overpowered me mm -hmm. even if i had more skills but then if at that time i had proper nutrition proper training yeah. even fitness training yeah i would have been a better I player mean, no excuses but still a better player for sure because i know the loopholes now because of his physical diet and physical fit training and everything so right now absolutely zero excuses but i still feel that if i had proper guidance i mean the knowledge at which i have right now if my parents or me at that time had that knowledge I I mean it would have been a you completely have, different story and yeah. not only me there are like hundreds of and thousands of kids in Ahmedabad who are playing soccer who are playing uh, tennis badminton or cricket yeah. so once I got into GCA uh, I actually saw like cricketers having my breakfast and then performing that was like really satisfying because obviously that was my target like to yeah. actually help I mean because you now see it it comes a full circle it it it, exactly. it solves the purpose because it comes from a much bigger that you know passion true, true, in you true, yes, that yes, you yes. wanted that but now you because you couldn't get it at a time now you want to true. give yes, it yes, to yes, people yes, yes, yeah yes. and was, that was like the ultimate uh, certificate that okay your food is actually nice i mean obviously uh, any food chain will have complaints but my main target was to serve actual people the who research are into and everything fitness. works yes So once I I saw Glenn McGrath and Jasprit Bumrah Bumrah having my meal and then going out and working out or doing their bowling or stuff like that hmm. that was really satisfying. Yeah. So 
Yes, I mean uh, throughout the entire four and four and a half years, uh, Fit Me Fit Meals was doing at least three hundred to five hundred uh, deliveries per day, depending upon the day. Again, lovely. That's that's amazing. I mean, um, it's so nice, you know, when you start something that that. and that's why that's that's what entrepreneurship and problem solving is that you True. you you face a problem in your yes, life and you you work on it and you're like yes, yes. i will help somebody else absolutely and you plus uh, so if we are i mean I, as I, we are talking about entrepreneurship yeah, yeah. i am not a really great businessman but i was talking to someone who is again really successful in his, in his field and i was talking about him uh, i mean i was talking to him about this fitness as a startup yeah and he told me that you might have learned many things in like management things you might have learned many things during college and school yeah and he was like trust me nothing will help uh, running a business is more of an art rather than science hmm. and that actually now hits me after 5 6 years that actually he he was so right but it is true that it is an art it like, is true even if i mean i i know a lot of people who are really uh, successful and they are i mean uh, who are really successful and they have absolutely zero education and they haven't been into those fancy colleges but still they are doing really well yeah, yeah 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 it is it is art because it requires set of skills true you know True. that that uh, it it's not about science like as i said you know i have like a scientific knowledge about pharmacy yes. but i don't like and i have it about in me about entrepreneurship but i don't have it in me to like say the wrong is right <laughs> which is like True. sometimes what yes. you have to do yes. like yes. you know sometimes you have to do that as True. an entrepreneur True. like and also i would like to add that um, sports again has taught me so much i mean uh, it doesn't only teach you how to hit the ball or how to run or how to eat well uh, again coming uh, coming uh, to a full circle that when yeah. i was a kid my dad told me that you always should play one and he made me do that one individual sport which was tennis and one team sport maybe cricket or volleyball or something like that hmm. but individual sport was completely for my self development and i used to compare every myself every day that teaches me right now also that if you are not improving every day you are going nowhere yeah and what the team sport used to do was it teaches you so much that it teaches you man management it teaches you uh, how to catch someone if they are cheating if mm. it teaches you how to be nice when you lose how to take care of your friends sportsman when spirit you, when you lose so it teaches you a lot of things so everything if you like just go to a volleyball team and play for, with them for 10 years you'll learn everything yeah, everything no. yeah. i mean sports teaches you so much yeah so yeah. that is the reason i mean uh, uh, sports actually has taught me so much that i am really good with, i mean according to me i am mm. really good with people and that is not because like i, I mean socially i am really good and that is not because of anything else it is only due to sports because uh tennis court also i had 50 people around me volleyball again 15 20 yeah, people yeah, around me yeah. all the time so you daily you meet people and then judging people and everything becomes so so easy yeah. i actually see a lot of people uh, around me who were not that social and right now they are uh, people who can't trust people people who can't like really uh, are not really good at gelling yeah. gelling with people if you are not put into that environment exactly, exactly. you will not learn yes So, so if you yeah yes i definitely stopped playing uh, sports but even now it is helping me in different fields and like directly and indirectly it is helping me so much yeah and also you know you brought up like you know shivani right so i like uh, spoke to her also on yeah, the podcast yeah. and even she said the same thing like i spoke to her about like you know she's into films and acting but okay. how does she you know be okay with when things not working like true going giving an audition yes, yes, not yes. working rejection failures exactly. this yes, that yes, yes, yes. and she's like that's what i learned from sports that no matter what happens you get back up true. and you try again true you know so uh, any sport if you see the winning ratio the legends like roger federer or the best indian cricket team which is right now under virat kohli the test team yeah the winning ratio is usually maximum 65 70% You, I mean the greats. Hmm, hmm, so hmm. average people like us, they end up losing more rather than winning more. Right. So you, it it, it is like it, you can take 
a defeat or loss so easily yeah obviously everyone wants to win all the time and that is how i play yeah. or i i do anything hmm. but then out of uh, once you okay you've lost that's it and then out of that how to come back bounce yeah. back take the pressure handle pressure be good i mean e- even during driving i mean uh, a very small thing yeah. but du- during driving if I, uh, i if someone honks me or if i'm if someone is like driving rash so that decision making and everything is so easy because now i realize okay my instincts my reaction time and my decision making power is really hmm. good and so, so i can see a lot of people around me who don't have that it helps it helps you a lot definitely yes. definitely talk to me about uh, you know as you said that there are uh, so many people who are doing hygienic tiffins and everything yeah. but nobody is doing uh, like healthy uh, Prob- options yes yes but i want to know what it, what does it take to run a kitchen like that like it's it's a cloud kitchen kind of at the end of the day mm-hmm. right it's a business model is similar like that yes yes absolutely so and because it's so growing right now and mm-hmm. so many people are getting interested into it okay what does it take to run that because you've had that experience and you said that you know you've learned a lot in the last few years like what what has been your experience uh, definitely a really good team that is the first uh even if the director full of that was me he is really good and if you don't have a really good team you will fail yeah or vice versa like if i am not good and if I, yeah. the team is really good if we'll, we, you will fail so True. but the values is utter honesty hmm. you have to be brutally honest and critical about yourself hmm. till now uh, and even if i was running fitness really really nicely at that time uh every day i used to go home there was something which i mean uh, there was some criticism from my dad a really good a really good one hmm, hmm. not the negative thing but if like you, a constructive feedback absolutely yeah, you hmm. have to be brutally honest that yeah. okay you suck at this thing you suck at this thing you excel at this thing you excel yeah. at this thing yeah. that's it and if you suck at something how to be better hmm. again sports teach, teaches you that how to be better all the time hmm. and how to handle losses and stuff like that yeah so yes i i guess honesty is the best thing in that so honest to our your customers and on brutally honest to yourself if you are that completely fine i mean i have never done an ad i have never paid someone uh, nothing only social media that's it hmm. and god's grace we were doing really well yeah 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 um great i mean so if somebody wants to enter into the industry not just you know uh healthy kitchens or something mm-hmm. you know just like there are so many cloud kitchens that are mm-hmm. opening up these are the things that are more important like you you have to assess in the assess things how they are going in the moment and then decide and everything okay. right okay so people so you are asking me that if someone wants to get into cloud kitchen how would they yeah yeah they yeah so this is how See, they should you, be uh, try getting something different but again uh, different has a like it is a lot Vast. of things to do yeah uh i would say that it is not a business that you can just invest your money and forget about it or hire a consultant and forget about it hmm. you have to be there all the time if you want that consistency if you want that quality control you have to be there all the time because yeah. food is such a thing that even a minor hair in your food will destroy like, the experience yeah last your company's reputation on social media yeah so you have to be all the all the time there and honesty is the best thing yeah to yeah. yourself and to your clients great 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 um talk to me about now that you've had like a fitness journey you do the fit meals mm-hmm. and everything and it's it's working really yeah, well yeah. people love it and you know you are follow you're fulfilling like a much bigger purpose with it and not just True. like to be another cloud kitchen True, and yeah. sell meals and stuff yes, yes. um you are also a content creator a model an actor talk to me a little bit about that how does that come into and like were uh, you always like a very curious person because you're doing like multiple things and everything and now i realize that i i i, I mean when we when we were when we are 10 or 12 yeah. we don't really judge ourselves that am i curious am i not am i this am i that but right now if i think about it i might be but right now i am Yeah. So what happened was uh, before like uh when I was 24 23 we were in some garba at Rajpath so hmm. Navratri and uh, some director I mean I thought he was just like 
faking it hmm. but he took my number and he told me that i'll cast you in this movie and uh, uh, it is it will be the first urban gujarati movie so blah 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 yeah, and yeah, yeah. so I, for a year he didn't contact me at all hmm. so i thought okay it was a hoax he, he was just taking my number or something like that yeah so after a year i get a call that uh, do you remember me i am dev and uh, i am the director and i was like, yeah yeah so i i went there i gave my screen test and yeah. so i worked in only uh, two gujarati movies i still do modeling i still uh, do ad films and stuff like that uh, based from ahmedabad hmm. uh, so yeah so that is how the journey started but yes i i told you like i was i used to weigh 40 kgs i was like really tan usually because i used to play tennis but then once i stopped playing tennis i thought okay let's start looking uh, looking better yeah and i think i should gain a bit of muscle hmm. so once i started uh, going to the gym lifting weights and looking nice everything started falling into place because anyways my face was chiseled low body fat and if you are a bit muscular yeah. so that is how i started getting small assignments modeling uh, assignments yeah. at start i used to work for free for 500 rupees 1000 rupees 1500 rupees okay. and then it happened nice so nice 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 so that is uh, how that's i got that's interesting into. i see like so many things in you that you know you uh, you're not very sometimes you know people around are very conscious about oh i've worked here and i've worked there and why what should i say why should i but it's it's a good thing that you know you you're very true and honest and you're like okay this is what i've done and this is what i am and like there is no and how do people be like that like you know there are so many people who sometimes they are afraid to start small or you know true, yes, experiment yes, yes. like you yes, experimented yes, yes, yes. with modeling like sometimes people know, yes. doubt themselves and yeah. there is so much that goes on So what would what would you tell them because you have been uh, you know in that space uh, see I I guess I get this from uh, the family the friends as well so even if I did a movie and then uh, during the premiere my friends were like ja hamare liye popcorn lekar aayi even if you are a star we don't care hmm hmm yeah, my family is also like that that uh, okay you achieve this doesn't matter we don't really care hmm. so i mean it, it was just that constructive criticism and being very grounded all the time and the main thing about this is i worked as a waiter fine i started fit meals fine my dad told me so we used to drive through iim and my, my dad used to tell me that uh, see the, these this is the place where you should you sh- can be or you should be in iim and iim uh, doing uh, mba uh, doing re- i mean studying there being really intelligent and stuff like that so that was fine i was completely fine with that I, I didn't really care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's after, what. See, after that, so what how happened? How do you not care? Yeah, but after that, what happened was I I was called to IIM for a lecture, and oh. IIM students did a project on how fit meals went from wow. six hundred deliveries, six deliveries to three hundred deliveries in just a matter of three or four months. That's like the biggest flex, so, okay? Exactly. <laughs> you so should I, tell your dad. I, I was sitting there in IIM, and I took so I told my dad, and I was like, and he was like. क्या शू करे क्या मैच रमवा गए सो आई आई जस्ट टुक अ फोटो एंड आई सेंट इम दिस स्क्रीन यू क्लिक द फोटो दैट यू आर आई 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 टेक्स्टेड इन दैट आई एम स्टूडेंट्स डूइंग अ प्रोजेक्ट ऑन फिट मीज सो ही सेड ही डिडंट बिलीव इन दैट दैट टाइम बट देन आई शोड हिम द पेपर्स एंड एवरीथिंग या एंड द गाइस आल्सो केम टू माय होम दैट आई मीन हाउ माय डे इज लाइक हाउ आई सो फैमिली बैकग्राउंड एंड एवरीथिंग या 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 so that happened but again uh, so coming back to the uh, topic that how you can be so comfortable so you have to be you you have to accept your flaws first hmm and that takes time i mean if if i think that okay i am bad like how you accepted that you know tennis may be like you have certain things and you yes, yes, you're yes, not yes, able yes, to do absolutely yeah. so if you are comfortable with your flaws then you won't be ashamed of i mean if you are com- yeah. yeah so you, you do, won't be ashamed of telling that flaw so i i flunked in the 12th standard it's fine mm-hmm. <laughs> doesn't matter right now so if you are comfortable with that i don't think you will be ashamed of anything yeah if and you I, are okay with your own self yes yes doesn't yes. matter what doesn't people matter. say yes, yes, yes. and as you said like after a certain point of time a few things stop mattering like you know how you did in your 12th or how you were exactly. in school yes, yes, like yes, what yes. matters is like how you build yourself true like true. that's true. that's what matters yeah Uh, even in fitness and in like that's in general life yes, yeah yes, that's yes, what you see absolutely. what i did there like how yeah. you build yourself exactly so <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, that is the reason i mean uh, it, 
I mean, looking people over here say that you should not body shame, you should not criticize people. So I, I usually tell myself that okay, if I won't, okay, I can't call a fat person fat. I can't I can't call a thin person thin. Hmm, then hmm. how will if if you tell okay, it is fine. You do whatever you want. Uh, you be fat. It is okay. No, it is not okay because you. I mean, hygiene. I mean, yeah, not, yeah. Not going on the looks. Yeah. But for your health, it is not okay. Yeah, yeah. See, so, that's what some exactly. people. Are, it's it depends on how you are trying to say it. Like, if you are trying to say that if you are not healthy and do something about it, and I worry about you, True. that's a different thing. Yes. But say, for example, you know, even if some because I have gotten that, like you know, you True. you walk and some people would somebody would say, you know, some yeah. old known relative. I was relative saying with papad that, and stuff like that. You yeah, that oh, to, why are you so thin? Yeah, but yeah. then I'm like. Why are you so? What you are like? Exactly. You know. No, no. So, bo- body shaming absolutely has no space in in yeah, my life as well. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. what I'm trying to tell here is that I don't have a problem with anyone who is thin or anyone who is fat. Yeah, absolutely yeah, yeah. not. But then not doing anything about that hmm. and just being like, okay, I am fat. Doesn't matter. I am fat. I am fat. I am fat. That is not okay for yeah, your yeah, health. Yeah. If you're not healthy, you have to exactly today, make a better choice. Today or tomorrow or after five years or after ten years, once a doctor tells you that okay. This is your health condition, and you will have to improve. At that time, you will go to the gym. So right. why not start working out when you are twenty or when you are thirty? Yeah, so that yeah, is yeah. that is. Your so that's thing. your that's also what your advice would be: that accept your flaws and work out. And uh, s- be absolutely yes, yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. Be comfortable with whatever you are. Doesn't matter. People will say stuff. People because I saw this movie. I don't know. Kuch to log kahenge, right? So people will call new names. People yeah. will judge you because they don't have. Really happening good life, they will come to come in your life and start judging you and calling yeah, you names. Yeah. So it, does, it doesn't really matter. True, true. If you give them percent of every, I mean, if, I, if right now I'll go to the gym workout, I'll give my one twenty percent. I know I have done well. Then it is completely fine that okay, if I achieve my those six pack abs in ten uh, months or a year or eight months, it is fine. But at least I should be very, very comfortable with the fact that okay, I have given my best. That's it. Yeah. I can't do so. In my control, it is uh, what is in my control to give my best. Yeah. Winning, losing, uh, people judging you, people calling you names, people telling you you are thin, you are fat. It is not in your control. So why bother? True. Anyways. True. Very true. Very true. That's actually very well said. Um, now we we'll move to a little more fun segment, okay. which is called Curious Quick Five. So what's the one thing you're curious about? Curious in life. Yeah, what's the one thing you're curious about apart from say fitness, this that? Like right now, what are you interested in? What uh, are you, right what now, are I'm curious uh, really curious about the podcast because uh, oh, okay. I, I, I've I, I've seen you doing really well in your field. Thank you. I've studied your Instagram as well. So I was actually while I was sitting over here, I was just telling myself that okay, if I want to do something like this, what should what should I do? So that is. That is the only thing I'm curious. About. I also told you about the great cricketer who are really funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I will definitely I mean, watch yeah, them. I, yeah. I, I really love them, and also I like to know about people and how they have struggled because uh, till you are at a certain level, no one will ask you anything. Hmm. Once you get rich, once you get famous, even the shit you say will turn into some famous quote. Yeah. So I I actually am usually curious because I see a lot of uh, people who have not who are almost going to make it but who are in that mid transition phase yeah, in, yeah. of their life. So they come to the gyms, so cricketers, again volleyball players, tennis, good tennis players. So I talk to them, I see their them working out. Hmm. So curious, I am usually curious about people. everything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean what people do and what I am really curious Drives about what. Them. Yeah. So what positive I can take out of someone. Yeah, so yeah. Really, really I think really that's what my goal is actually with yeah, this. Yeah. That you know, somebody watching this, like, why I asked you that? What would you tell someone? Because you are so comfortable with, you know, who yeah. you are, like your yeah. own self. Yeah. And somebody watching this might not be, and you know, they might be ashamed of something or just True. in general, you True. know, anything like a small thing. Yeah. Uh, you know, like say you flunked in twelfth standard, yeah. like somebody else would have flunked in twelfth yeah, standard, yeah. and they might be ash- they hold exactly, on to it yes. and they might be ashamed about it. But then the best way of getting rid of that is publicly make fun of yourself. Go out there and say, say yeah, that. Yeah, that's what. But I flunked in sometimes 12th. people are so sensitive they are not able to do True. that. True. But that's why when True. they will see somebody do that. True. They will feel like yeah, okay, yeah. it's not a big True. deal. Then they will get that. Absolutely. What's the one person that you're curious about? 
I have always been curious about Sachin Tendulkar and how he manages the whole uh, pressure and the entire India like everything is on his shoulder every time and how does he perform and how does he like think what is the thought process yeah yeah he's very fascinating yeah, i actually want to Amazing meet him once person. and i mean if i'm fortunate enough i can meet him and then if i'm more fortunate enough to i can ask him ask him this yeah yeah yeah, yeah. tell me also if you are yeah, yeah, absolutely yes, <laughs> yeah yes. Um, what's the one place you're curious to travel to uh, i have been to a lot of places but right now i want to go to south africa and i am really fond of the wildlife and again want to be there for like 3 4 days and just see a cheetah having his first prey or i mean his first prey of the day yeah. or something like that lovely lovely um what's the one technology that you are curious about technology the metaverse everyone is oh <laughs> a huge thing uh, let's see i mean uh, really fascinating the idea of a metaverse but let, let's, let's see let's see how, how it turns out yeah, exactly, no it's a little exactly. weird right now in our lifetime we, we we definitely will see it yeah 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 but let's see how it but it'll out. grow i think when we would have like in a few no no years, i, I guess like, within the next 20 years it will be out i think 5 <laughs> knowing mark five? zuckerberg how he is uh yes but again so i mean not i mean we are going out of the topic of fitness but then uh, so uh, fitme is actually launched its metaverse and the coins and stuff like oh. that uh, sorry not not fitme the crypto sorry facebook Fa- facebook launched their uh, metaverse and the crypto and everything but they failed at the, their first coin oh, because the whole concept of facebook is centralized so if i am posting some photo is that it has to go through a centralized channel hmm. and the whole idea of, of crypto is decentralized, is decentralized. so that is, like is the reason they, yeah so that is the reason they face so, uh, you might see someone else taking over as well yeah, yeah. but it's like mark mark zuck up for him it's like his own bullet biting him back exactly you know yeah, like true. interesting uh, what's the one book or author you are curious about i actually don't read many books but okay. i want to uh, read i don't know uh, if if i'll be free or i'll be interested in i mean i actually make time for myself but i'm interested in uh, think like a man act like a lady from steve harvey oh yes yes yes, yes. think yeah i've heard a lot about i mean i'm re- a huge fan of his again podcasts and his the way he talks the way he carries himself i love steve He's harvey's uh, family feud exactly i was thinking about this like a day or two like maybe yesterday or day before yesterday that i want to play family yeah. feud with him and his sense of humor i mean he can turn anything into a funny conversation yeah yeah, yeah. he's lovely and plus he started being successful after 45 50 yeah so and he works like crazy right now he he owns like six seven shows he owns a lot of things yeah so many, he's amazing so he's yeah. amazing and he's also struggled So we reached the end of the podcast Great. and uh, I want to ask you are there any last feelings that you want to share last thoughts about fit meals fitness in general or just about being on the podcast uh, anything fitness again yes fit meals again will go on definitely it is doing well by god's grace and i guess we are doing a good job uh, with fit meals it will start again soon any time but uh, fitness yes i want to tell viewers that be honest to yourself be uh make sure that you stay away from the drugs drug thing the artificial medicines and stuff like that be honest to yourself before you go to work out make sure what your goal is and make sure that you you have a qualified trainer who can help you achieve that goal so yeah. that is it lovely that's nothing great. has nothing has shortcuts great, great. <laughs> that's it yes that's yeah. so true yeah. that's so true So thank you so much for Great. coming on the podcast My pleasure. you know My taking pleasure. the time and really being here time. and uh, it was really a lovely conversation thank you help you to grow in every aspect of your life i remember vividly remember that i had some issue a council issue council tax issue and i was literally drained i was very stressed my manager could make it out that you know she is not in the right frame of mind she just took me to conference room she tried to talk to me and she's like why are you crying what is wrong with you and i just like you know this happened and i missed this and i got a court notice